Here are three essential commands you have to know. Ping is a computer network administration software utility used to test the reachability of a host on a network. Basically what it does is it calls a specific computer on the network, this is known as an echo request, and waits for a reply. It then displays the results of this call. Just like many other commands, ping has command line arguments, which you can use to help with specific situations. Let's go over some of them. Pinging an IP address or a hostname without arguments will ping four times and display the result statistics, as you can see here. The T argument will ping the specified host until stopped. To stop pinging, use Ctrl C. Example usage for this argument is testing accessibility to a computer or any other device while it's restarting. The ping will have no reply while the device is restarting and will start getting a reply as soon as it restarts. The N argument needs a number when it's used and will indicate a specific number of echo requests to be used. As I mentioned before, the default number of requests without any arguments is 4. This argument allows you to change it. Ping statistics will be displayed at the end of the designated amount of echo requests. If a host has both an IP version 4 and an IP version 6, the dash 4 argument can be used to get an IP version 4 reply instead of a version 6. The IP config command shows information regarding your Ethernet adapter and allows you to control it. When you run it without any arguments, it will show you a brief information of your Ethernet adapter, your IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. The all argument displays all the available information regarding your Ethernet adapter. It shows you the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. And, in addition, it also shows you the MAC address of your card, the DHCP lease and expiration dates, the IP address of the DNS server, the DHCP server, and more. The release argument will release any IP address assigned to the Ethernet adapter and is usually combined with the next argument. The renew argument will make a request to the DHCP server to renew the IP address lease. The adapter could get the same IP address if it is available or another available address. The flush DNS argument will, as the name implies, flush the local DNS cache. An example for this argument usage is when a name of a device has been changed in the DNS. You can then flush the local DNS cache and force your computer to request the information from the DNS rather than use what it has in its cache. The register DNS argument can be used to force your computer to register its name in the local DNS server. Netstat is a utility that displays network connections, routing tables, and network protocol statistics. Running it without arguments displays your computer's connection to other devices, the used ports, protocols, and the state of the connections. The A argument displays all connections and listening ports. The B argument displays the executable involved in creating each connection. The E argument displays Ethernet statistics, as you can see here. The N argument displays addresses and port numbers in numerical form. The O argument displays the owning process ID associated with each connection. You can use these process IDs to identify the running process in the task manager. You can also combine these arguments to create a customized list like this.